everyone! Welcome to Monica's Singapore Kitchen. Today, I'm going to cook mushu pork. It is a very easy dish to cook. Come along with me to see how this dish is made. First of all, you, we need to cut all the ingredients starting with shiitake mushroom. So we're going to shred it into thin slivers like this. Altogether, I have 8 shiitake mushrooms which I have rehydrated before I cut it. So put this aside. Okay, so the next thing to cut are the 4 stalks of spring onions. Just cut them into about 2 inch length, I would say. And then put this aside as well. Okay, so this is the uh, bamboo shoots. This bamboo shoot is bought from supermarket. It comes in a pack all peeled already. So normally I put them in hot water uh, and soak it for about 15 minutes before cutting. So all we have to do is to cut it into thin slices and then later we cut it into matchsticks like this so as thin as you can go and then this also we put aside so this is 500 grams of pork tenderloin okay so what i need to do is to cut it into thin slivers yeah thin matchstick size so you notice that all the ingredients are cut in this manner so it's easy to cut if the pork tenderloin is semi I would say semi-frozen here yeah? so it is much easier to cut into thin slivers like this so after cutting you would also want to uh, marinate it so okay put it aside first and the marinade consists of uh, one teaspoon of cornstarch one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of light soya sauce 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of white pepper powder so give it a good stir mix everything well and the plan is to marinate it for 30 minutes meanwhile we'll beat up two eggs okay and into a hot pan put in one tablespoon of oil pour in the beaten egg swirl the pan so that you get a very thin omelette something like this you need not make it into a very nice shape as we are going to cut it into shreds as well yep into thin slivers as well so when it's cooked something like this you just have to transfer it to a cutting board and then shred it like that yeah into strips yeah thin strips following all the other ingredients the manner in which it is being cut okay so we have got our omelette ready so we're going to start cooking the rest one tablespoon of oil and then when it's hot put in five cloves of minced garlic stir fry the garlic until it is almost golden brown you will know when to uh, what stage it has reached when you smell the aroma that comes out from the garlic so when that happens we will put in the ingredients starting with our uh, pork so pour it in and then stir it to separate the individual strips so we are going to cook this and stir fry until the red of the, the redness of the pork turns into white. I think it takes about two to three minutes kind of thing over high heat. Yep, something like this is almost there. Yeah, I think we have reached that stage where we can uh, add the other ingredients. So we are going to add our bamboo shiitake, uh, sorry, the shiitake mushrooms, a bamboo shoots. Yep, give it a little bit of stir. And then, uh, this is the secret, yeah, it is one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. So, one heaping tablespoon and then uh, we are going to give it a little bit of stir so that it mixes well with the rest of the ingredients. 
So I'm going to put in one quarter cup of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can just add a uh, water. So stir fry it until about uh, semi dry. I took about maybe three to four minutes on uh, medium heat. Okay, so it is slightly this color. If you need a little bit darker, you can put a teaspoon of dark soya sauce. We are okay with that. So add in one teaspoon of soya sauce. And to make the dish smooth and uh, tender, the meat to be tender, I have also added in cornstarch slurry. Stir it well. Okay, so we put in about two thirds of our shredded omelette, the shredded egg, and uh, spring onions. Pour these two in and mix well. So it's practically ready, isn't it easy? So we just dip it over a serving plate, serve it hot. Um, uh, you can just garnish it with shredded eggs, shredded chilies, and spring onions. It's up to you what garnish you want to put in. Something like this. So uh, for me, I usually use it to stuff my sesame flatbread or shopping. Please refer to the link in the description box to see how this shopping is made. You can also eat it with rice, stir fry with noodles, and eaten with mandarin pancakes or prata. So as always, happy cooking!